Hello dear friends, this video is about run Windows software on Chromebook with Play on Linux. This is the best and the easiest way. So let's start. First we need to enable Linux environment development environment. So open your settings and search Linux. Here the first one, just turn it on. You will face to this windows and just you need to click on next. Choose a username and click on next. Your installation will start and this will take some minutes. Okay, the terminal is ready and Linux container is installed in my Chrome OS. So let's start the installation. First, we need to install WineHQ in our Linux. So search WineHQ in your browser and the first link is the official link of WineHQ. From download part, click on Debian and just we need to follow this uh, installation commands. First, enable 32-bit packages on your terminal. Copy the first command and paste it in here. Then we need to add, uh, we need to download uh, WineHQ key. Download this. Okay, it's download, and now we need to add it to our Linux. So use this command. Okay, it's done. Now we need to add WineHQ repository to our Linux. I want to use Debian 11, so I copy this. Here, just first we need to install Nano. This is a text editor. Okay, now we can use command sudo nano etc create a new uh, repository list in this path by name winehq.list. Okay, paste the repository in here and press Ctrl S for save and Ctrl X for exit. Then it's time to update, but you cannot install WineHQ without Debian repository. So in your Chrome, search Debian repository and you will face to these uh, links. The first one is Wikidebian and that's an official source uh, repository. And this is also is in Wikidebian, this is an official source list example of Debian 11. I want to copy this one. I copy this and now again we need to create a new repository for Debian 11 repository source list. So in here add Debian 11 dot list. Now paste the repository uh, links in here. Press Ctrl S for save and Ctrl X for exit. Now we can update our uh, terminal. If you face to this um, warnings, just you need to run this command twice. Okay, my Linux is installed and warnings are gone. Now we need uh, we can install WineHQ. We need to install a staging uh, version. So copy this command and paste it in your terminal. Press Y to con continue installation and installation will take some minutes. Okay, it's installed. Let me clear the terminal. Now we need to install Play on Linux. So search Play on Linux in your browser and the first link is the official link of Play on Linux. From download part, we can download it. Click on Debian and here just we need to copy this command in our 
terminal. The first one we need to download Play on Linux key, paste it in your terminal. We need to run this as a root, so use command sodo so and then paste your command in terminal. Now we need to download Play on Linux repository, copy this and paste it in your terminal. Okay, now it's time to update and then install Play on Linux. Use command sudo apt get update and then use command sudo apt get install Play on Linux. Press Y for installation. Let me clear the terminal. Now we need to install netcat. Use command sudo apt-get install netcat. Then we need to install get text. Use command sudo apt-get install get text. Wait for installation and let me clear the terminal. Okay, now Play on Linux is installed in your uh, Linux and from Linux application you can find it. Open Play on Linux. Okay, it's run successfully and you can install any application, any Windows software that you want in your Linux. You can find your software in its database. For example, I want to install Opera or for example Safari. I want to install Safari. After clicking on install, this wizard uh, is shown and the first time a virtual drive for Play on Linux will create it. Wait some minutes. Okay, Wine is updated. Wine Mono is needed to install. Just click on install. Then uh, Wine Jacko file is need to install. Install this again. And wait some seconds. Okay, Wine is completely started and this is running the necessary files in your Linux. Now for installing Safari from you can use download program. Okay it's download and now you can click on next. Okay, Safari installation is a start and it's easy, you can follow the steps. Okay, installation is done, click on finish. And it's run in here, for example, let's search Google. Okay, this is run and it's working. Okay, it's done and Safari is installed in my Linux. I can use it easily or also you can install non-listed program from here. Okay, it's done and you can install almost all of the software in your Linux. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe the channel if this video was helpful and watch the other videos.